So in today's video, I'll be explaining something real quick. So one of our brother from another mother asked us to explain something very important. So I know this video will be very helpful to you, right? So without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. So he asked me to explain how this curve is being achieved in Corridor. You see the curve where we have pictures, right? Where we have pictures, the curve, and how the pictures are being placed in there. Now I'm going to explain. In case you found this very helpful, please share this video. In case you know it, share so that it will reach somebody who does not know. Do you understand? So stick around to the very end. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our rectangle tool. Double click on it, and this is what you're going to have. So in case you have this black stroke, just remove it. Come over to this. You see this um, white thing. Look at my mouse. Stop looking at me. You see this white thing that is here on your color palette. On top, there's a white color there that has a red, a red line that is strike. Just right click on it. It will remove that um, black stuff you're seeing there. Now, to achieve this thing, pay attention. Bring in your ellipse tool or your over shape tool. It's called ellipse tool. Shall that around this tool? Now draw this way, draw this way. So to get a perfect um, cycle, right? To get a perfect cycle, what you need to do is hold your control key. For the big boys, you can hold your command key. Those of you using Mac, do you understand? MacBook. So this is how to achieve this. Once you, once you have this, hold control key. Sorry, hold your shift key on your keyboard. Shift key, shift key on your keyboard. Now, use your mouse, right? Hold your mouse and point to any of these anchor points. This is called an anchor point. This thing you're seeing here is called anchor points. We have three up, two at the middle, three down. They are called anchor points or they are called not. Do you understand? Now, select any of these. Don't, not the one on the middle. Select the one on the top right or on the top left on the top bottom any of it right but do not touch the one on the middle right now hold shift on your keyboard now you can see we have two of this i'll repeat it again pay attention right you can see i've pointed my mouse over here you can see what it what is what is giving us one strike right if i hold shift and point it will change to two meaning that you want to duplicate this in case your own no work in case it did not work for you just do ctrl c and ctrl v to copy and paste you're going to have two of this right i'm just telling you in case what i'm doing here does not does not did not work on your own just do copy and paste it will still work you understand so hold shift point to the anchor point drag it down here you get the points now once you drag it down here select all of this you get once you select all of this you can basically scale this up i think i have one over here let me delete it you can basically scale this this way once you scale it scale it again bring it down here you get now scale this one to cover up this piece so what we're, what we're trying to achieve is just something over here do you understand now this is what you're going to have now we have two 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 oval shape or round shape do you understand in case you don't understand that means you're not subscribed to my channel you are new here you get so people that are new and they're not, not subscribed they don't learn anything on my channel so this is what you're going to do you see this hold um, select the one on the middle then press shift on your keyboard press the other one that's the two one or you can basically highlight and select this way highlight and select then come over to this um to this property bar and select this one that is written here as trim so once you trim it this is what you're going to have you understand once you trim it this is what you're going to have then you can bring this one down here again. Do you understand? 
if you're confused please ask me a question in the comment section i will politely answer you you understand now select this one also bring another one here bring another one here bring another one here so we have this so like i said if you're confused do copy and paste now what you're going to do is you're going to select this one that is together select and use break apart so once you break it apart this is what you're going to have now what you're going to do is you can basically give this one can i see they have orange color at the top so you can give it orange color right the the one below it's blue so you can choose to give this one blue do you understand now for this one we're going to give this one white let's give this one white right but what we're going to do is we're going to select the white one hold shift select the blue one click on trim once we do that you can um okay we trimmed the wrong one so what we're going to do is we're going to select this select this trim okay so we're going to trim the orange one select and hold your shift select the white one then select the orange one then click on trim then remove this one i think we are trimming the wrong one so i think it's work so it does work trim the um orange one now what you're going to do is select this one hold shift that select this line you're seeing here let me give it another color this white one then select hold shift then select this um orange one click on trim so once you trim it this is what you're going to have guys now what you're going to do is um you're going to basically select this and um bring in your rectangle tool right draw this way draw a line this way bring this guy over here all right then you can flip it again and um, make sure it is three that's where we're going to place the images so now you can drag this guy over here right so once you do that this is what you're going to do mm -hmm. this is what you're going to do hold on i'm trying to trim this guy so this is what you're going to trim you're going to trim this guy over here let's see if it will work so it have trimmed guys it have trimmed but we're going to bring this one over here so what we're going to do now is we're going to just bring this image right click and select power clip then power clip here right click and select power clip you can place this one here right click and select power clip you can place this one here then right click again select edit power clip then bring this one here right click select edit power clip you can drag this one over here you get right click select edit power clip then bring this one a bit down make sure it doesn't affect the frame so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything come to this and remove the the black stroke you're seeing there then right click and select power clip place it into this frame i know somebody's confused i swear to god somebody's confused i swear ah somebody's confused but let me continue in case you're confused please drop me a comment in the comment section right now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything this way highlight all these things remove the outline right click select power clip place it on the first who is this one delete this one guys i like everything right click on this select power clip place it on the rectangle tool we created earlier right so now basically you can leave this one like this this is how we created this one so you can choose to you know give it that same color 
um, that, that you guys have here you can choose to give it that same color right this is blue and this is already white so you can choose to you know give it that color now somebody will tell me this color is not this white is not as this one all you need to do is just bring in your rectangle to draw this way give it a white color select your effects select um blur select gaussian blur blow it blow it blow it and blow it so once you blow it this way all you need to do is just click on ok convert it to bitmap on your menu bar and select rgb now right click and select power clip place it into this frame right click and select this power clip then bring it in here and uh scale it up i'm just giving you jara just in case i'm just giving you jara so that you see how they created that thing understand so you can see the white is whitening like this one now do you understand and this is how this thing was placed so but first of all these are own oranges kind of much so let's reduce it this way let's let's reduce it you understand so you can reduce the orange um the the blue also you can reduce the blue by making this one go in this way this way and um, this way so basically you can see this is how this thing is created you can see this is how it was created in correct draw um but anyway shout out to the designer who designed this he did a very good job and um, if you have any question and you're confused in any way please drop me a comment in the comment section below well, i don't know see you guys in my next video peace